Hello everyone, and welcome to another mapping video. Today we'll be looking at the industrial district. So we'll just go ahead and go around here. I'm going to make this video uh, somewhat quick because I have a limited time tonight. So the first warehouse is the blue warehouse over here. I might actually bring that door a little bit closer. But anyhow, we'll go ahead and go into this way. So you have the main area of the blue warehouse in here. Then you do have a couple side doors, such as this one, which goes into this room over here. And you have a ladder, and we'll get up to there next. Through the garage, you have a way that goes like this, around, and then another garage. And then to the left, we have a door over here that goes to a small room, and then a ladder that goes up to a the second floor up here which overlooks this uh, area here and then you can go back down over here let's see which one do I want to do next I would do this factory next so over here we have a factory probably another dumpster area here maybe a sewer or a subway entrance in the future want to add that we have the first factory here Let me go ahead and go on down this way They have a small room over here, and then you have a window here that you can jump through, I believe. Yep. And then a second door here that looks in. Over here you have like a little office space for like the factory owner or whatever. Or the factory management that would overlook the workers and all. Or if you want to set up like a machine gun nest, like the other one. Going back around. We have a small house or a shop, I guess. More of a gun shop over here. There's no windows or anything. It's kind of out in the corner. We have uh, a little window here so you can always spawn a gun. I think it might automatically make me pick it up though. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's entities, isn't it? But yeah, so you can take your gun and put it in there, close it. And then it'll be on the other side, maybe. Yeah, it's on the other side. And then there is a second little floor that goes up the ladder. I might work on fixing that a little bit. Might be fine though. Then we have our next factory over here. There's a door here that you can go in, and there's also uh, the garage door right here. Inside you have a smaller area going through here. You have something that leads to the second floor, which is like the little manager's office again. A uh, window to overlook, and then there's these little side things as well. These little balcony areas. I think this is probably my favorite warehouse out of all of them. It's uh, this one over here. So over here you have the fuel, a little fuel tank there, and some garage doors over here, and then the entrance to the building here. And here you have a, the manager's office is up there, and that's kind of like the large um, storage area. You can go up here, and once again, manager's office is here, and we'll go down first. You have another large room over here, and it wraps back around to these two garage doors. Going back through here, you have a ladder that will lead up to this balcony up here, which overlooks the, two, the little loading bay area in this um, storage area. And we can go through here, back to the manager's room. I'll probably fix that by moving those back a little bit. And then we go back around to the last warehouse, which is in the middle. So I think I'm going to add an Opel uh, truck over here too. Uh, a few trucks along here to make it look like they're actually loading things on, such as these uh, brick pallets and that lump of coal. And going on in, we have a large warehouse uh, storage area over here again. And through here we have some garage doors. So this is just more of a small basic one. 
nothing too exciting about this one. Um, I don't really think there's anything you need to add to this one. I might add maybe a balcony or something, but uh, it's a small, pretty basic warehouse. That's pretty much it for industrial. I'll probably add a building here in the future. And then I might add a yellow warehouse here as well. I have not quite yet decided. Uh, but this is just more of a, a lot more larger buildings though in this uh, district. So you have a total of three warehouses and two factories. I might make that four warehouses though with the yellow one. Add another building there and then you have the additional house in this district. And once again here is an overview of the map so you can see how it's looking now. And you can see the size of the industrial where I mean the industrial district. Um it is pretty much the same size as like the rural district and all. Once again, it's just because um these buildings are larger, warehouses are pretty much just open spaces. Uh probably need to fix this actually too. Yeah. This is actually my first time on this uh compile, so there's a few things that I want to do, but I'm just making this video now because I probably won't get any work done tomorrow. Uh, and pretty much completion date, I'm pushing for March, like the first week of March. What's going to happen too, by the way, is I'm going to make a spawn right here. So there'll be a spawn here. So then you have one spawn over there, one there. And you might have one in slums or one in government district, we'll see. And what I'm probably going to do next is work on the downtown district where this road will lead. And then I'll come back and do slums because that's going to kind of connect with that. Uh, I think that's about it. Once again, I'll probably begin work on downtown uh, Friday maybe. Maybe Thursday. So I have a few, uh, and then um, t -t -t bug fixes. Those will be done the week with um, optimizations, lighting, and decals. I'll probably spend a week on those and then have the map done because that'll be the last thing I do. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time.